Welcome to the module on history of concrete. In this module, uh, we will discuss uh, about the point when the concrete actually started in the world and how the concrete uh, is being developed since 6500 BC. What is the meaning of concrete? The word concrete came from the Latin word known as concretus. The meaning of concretus is compact or condensed. So concrete is refer referring to material which is compact or condensed. The perfect passive participle of concrete derived from con is together and crisker to grow. We can know, we can tell that concrete is basically together to grow. So when we look at the history of the concrete, the prehistory has started since 6500 BC. And there is a classical era which lasted from 300 BC to almost 476 AD, which is generally the Roman Empire, which has developed concrete and has started utilizing the concrete material. Then there is the Middle Age, which last started from 14th century to the mid of the 18th century. And then there is an industrial era after the 18th century, and then the current uh, modern uh, concrete, which is in place. So in this particular model, uh, except a modern concrete part, we will be discussing all the other four uh, parts of uh, different stages of uh, development of concrete. Under prehistory, a small scale production of concrete like materials uh, starting from 6500 BC has pioneered by the Nabatia traders or Bidonius who occupied and controlled a series of oases and developed a small empire in the region of uh, southern Syria and northern Jordans. They discovered the advantages of hydraulic line with some self come cementing properties by 700 BC. They also built kilns to supply mortar for the construction of uh, rubble wall houses, concrete floors, and underground waterproof systems. Kept the systems secret as uh, these enabled the Nebatia to th thrive in the desert. These are some of the photographs of uh, ancient uh, Roman culture showing how delicately they crafted uh, the structures and are durable in nature. The Romans used concrete extensively from 300 BC to 476 AD for a span of uh, more than 700 years. During this, uh, the Roman Empire, Roman concrete or opus cementicium was made from quicklime, pozzolana, and an aggregate of pumice. Pumice is basically the byproduct of uh, the lava. Its widespread uh, use in uh, many Roman structures, a key event in the history of architecture termed by the Roman architectural revolutions, they freed the Roman construction from the restrictions of stone and brick materials, which has uh, enabled a revolutionary new design in terms of both structural complexity and uh, the dimensional variations. Concrete, as the Romans knew, it was a new and revolutionary material. They laid the shapes of arches, walls, and domes. It quickly hardened into a rigid mass, free from many of the internal thrust and strains that troubled the builders of similar structures in stone or brickwork. So they got a better uh, product as an alternative to stone and brick in terms of concrete to make the structure of their wish and wills. During this classical era, the long-term durability of Roman concrete structures has been found to be due to its use of pyroclastic rock, that is volcanic rock and ash, whereby crystallization of stratlignite, which is a specific and complex Calcium aluminosilicate hydrate is being observed. The coalescence of this and the similar 
calcium aluminate aluminum silicate hydrate uh, cementing binders helped give the concrete a greater degree of fracture resistance even in seismically active environments what is a pyroclastic rock pyroclastic rocks are basically the sedimentary clastic rocks composed solely or primarily of volcanic materials where the volcanic materials has been transported and reworked through the mechanical actions such as by wind or water these rocks are also termed as volcanic clastic rocks there is a photo shared by donald a swanson which is being taken on 30th of may 1980 is investigating the pumice of the volcanic materials erupted from the volcanoes tuberberite uh, crystal formation technique roman concrete is significantly more resistant to erosion by sea water than modern uh, concrete why because it is using uh, pyroclastic materials which reacts with sea water to form tuberberite crystals over a period of time tuberberite uh, crystals is uh, nothing but uh, silicate hydrate minerals with uh, a chemical formula as shown below that is ca5si6o16 bracketed oh2 times 4 molecules of h2o or the alternative formula is ca5si6o comma oh bracketed 18 dot 5 times h2o the volcanic ash uh, that romans used for construction of sea walls contained philipsite and that an interaction with sea water actually caused the crystalline structure in the mortar to expand and strengthen making the material substantially more durable than modern concrete when exposed to sea water so in short the formation of tuberberite uh, crystals makes the roman concrete more resistant to erosion with exposure to sea water as compared to modern concrete some of the famous structures which are being built during the classical eras are the hoover dam the panama canal and the roman pantheons this is the hoover dam which is shown in the photograph this is the great uh, panama canal is being uh, utilized for berthing of uh, ships and then the roman pantheon is shown in the photograph the earliest uh, large scale users of uh, concrete technologies were the ancient romans and the concrete was widely used in the roman empire the colosseum in rome was built largely of concrete and the concrete dome of pantheon is the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome colosseums are uh, nothing but uh, the large uh, amphitheaters uh, which are being used to organize uh, functions during the roman era as shown in the photograph today large concrete structures for example dams and multi story car parks are usually made with uh, reinforced concrete after the roman empire collapsed use of concrete became rare until the technology was redeveloped in the mid of 18th centuries worldwide concrete has overtaken steel in tonnage of materials used after the roman empire the use of burned lime and pozzolana was greatly reduced until the technique was all but forgotten between 500 to 14th century from the 14th century till the mid of 18th century the use of cement gradually returned the construction of canal du midi was built using the concrete in 1670 the date of first use of this canal was 20th of may 1681 and the construction of the canal was completed on 15th of may 1681 this is uh, the photograph of the canal du midi which is being placed in france During the industrial era method of producing portland cement was developed in England and patented by Joseph Aspdin in 1824 
the photograph of joseph aspidin is shared in this uh, presentation aspidin chose the name of its uh, similarity to portland stone which was quarried on the isle of portland in dorset england his son william continued developments into the 1840s earning him recognition for the development of modern portland cement Perhaps the greatest step forward in the modern use of concrete was Smeaton's Tower, built by the British engineer John Smeaton in Devon, England between 1756 and 1759. This third edition lighthouse pioneered the use of hydraulic lime in concrete using pebbles and powdered brick as aggregate. This tower is named as Smeaton's Tower after the name of the engineer John Smeaton who built this tower in the year 1759. During the industrial era only reinforced concrete was invented in 1849 by Joseph Monier and the first house was built by Francois Coignet in 1853. The first concrete reinforced bridge was designed and built by Joseph Monier in 1875. In summary, we discussed in this module about the history of the concrete, how the concrete has evolved, how the concrete has developed in the ancient ages from the Roman ages till the Middle Age and the, the industrial era. famous uh, structures some of the famous structures of uh, ancient and the roman ages which are being uh, like hoover dam the panama canal the roman pantheons etc how the structure was built and what is how durable they are in those days by using the unreinforced uh, concrete in the structures how the concrete produced product was developed over a period of time was uh, highlighted in this module the different eras of concrete discoveries were discussed in the next uh, module we will be covering the role of uh, modern concrete thank you